And how are you? Major comic. Yeah, and it's always good. To, that's yeah. why when Joel says hi, actor, it's always good to interview. Yeah. That's yeah. how you know you're not doing well in the business. So like, if I do like a morning show yeah. and they're like comedian Jim Norton, yeah, like, they have to say you're a comedian. No one gives a shit. Well, when Gary, <laughs> Gary, Gary, Gary Oldman, present, just for like showing it. up. Your uh, wife, the character on House of Cards, was beautiful, and I would. Like, I'm married, but I'd like to meet her. Yeah. Um, is she uh, married? I don't you, know. I don't know. You're trying to ask him to... That's Who, his TV wife. He, want, that's not, yes, not his, he wants yes. to get up with Robin Wright. That's, I, uh, no, not Robin Wright. Oh, oh, oh Dom, play, Dominique. Dominique. Yeah, your yeah. wife. Okay, so she, Robin Wright was my wife in the show In My Mind. Yeah. yeah. So that was... So, Joel, did, have, you, have you had an interview where nobody tried to get you to set you uh, him up with your TV wife? No, I think that's the first time, actually. <laughs> first I, like, I like how you work, man. You can tell he's a major comic. <laughs> yeah, major, yeah. yeah, that's a definite major a comic move. Act. Yeah, hey, that's the costume a, designer on that movie. Yeah. All right, you're good. That's a show business move, isn't yeah. it? Hey, your TV wife. Can you hook me up with hook her? Me up. Yeah, but you, you know. do though when you when you do certain I've, I've had like little very very minor intimate moments with women on film like and it's like you do connect a little bit. I can't imagine what it's like to play somebody's husband oh, I know. for the entire season. There you do develop an intimacy. It's weird. It gets weird. But you, are you did you have that do you are you where you get close to somebody and all of a sudden you see what their real life and it feels a little odd at, at one point? I mean sometimes you get real close. You do, right? Real real close. Yeah, I guess that's common. Yeah. Have you dated anybody that you've worked with? Um, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Because so, so you're together for Sweden, hours. Yeah, yeah. But also back in you know when I was making movies back in Sweden, there's a you get even closer. Um, it's what? just uh, like the the sets are more intimate. We're not so concerned with nudity and. Uh, um, it's just uh, it's a little more free flowing, okay. and also I was younger too, so so it's like now I'm married. You know, you have a more professional approach to it. So, when, um, so the sex scenes are a little bit <laughs> like more intense when you're a younger guy and you're in Sweden. Yeah, and and it's like all of a sudden you're like, hey, I kind of like, I'm attracted to this person. Yeah. It's like you're both. Yeah. Why well, not? Well, I don't know what's so different between me and a porn actor right now. Those kind of thoughts. <laughs> well, you know, well, do you, have to, wear, do you have to wear something? Do you have to wear a sock or something? Not like in that? Sweden. There's no socks in Sweden. So you just uh, kind of pressed up against somebody? Yeah, it's just kind of rubbing and grinding. So it really Weird. is like a awesome. softcore Weird, yeah. <laughs> porn movie, except because the director is like an established yeah. guy. And it was a courtroom drama, so it was weird. <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell? What's that smell? <laughs> but you really do. You, you do nude shot. scenes for, for real nude. Because I, I thought you yeah. had to cover up or something. But no. No, not in, so that's awesome. back not to in Europe. Jim's question. Like, is it is does there get to be a weird thing when you develop this sort of connection with somebody on a set? And then you kind of start to drift into real life. And you're like, wait. This isn't the person we were. We were acting like this person. I don't actually even know this person. Yeah, but the thing is that you like it. It's sort of in that moment, and and also you're in a character, and you're in this you know circumstance. So it, it you know it feels really powerful at the moment, and then as soon as you take a step back, you know usually it kind of disappears and it's also you're in a set in front of 250 people which kind of takes the intimacy out of it so yeah you're, you're actually trying to create make it more intimate in that moment and as soon as you step out it you know it, it's um it, it kind of dissipates when did you develop uh did you purposely develop an american accent thinking i want to go to the states and and act or was that something you had to do for a role well, I mean, it's it's. I had no. You're one of these actors that I had no idea had an accent. Yeah, you're, you're like a guy. You, you should have been me. in the wire. Like I have no idea. <laughs> he's from fucking amazing? overseas. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Like he's better yeah. American accent than I have. <laughs> well, well, my dad's American, so I, I grew up speaking English with my dad, but I had like a Swedish accent uh, to it. Um, and then when I came here, I came here about eight years ago. Um, you know, they told me that I had like a, a, a Swedish accent, but um, but because I grew up bilingual since birth um you know i could hear on myself like okay that's like that's the wrong melody so it was much easier to sort of uh, get an american accent you, and you, then and then i also i went to high school here for a year uh, i went to high, uh, in texas oh wow right. yeah sweden to texas why why such a was your father from texas no 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 that it was just random um i was getting into a lot of trouble back home and uh that it just seemed like a great getaway you know to was that a punishment to send you to texas no i was like i was i was begging for it i was begging for it what kind of yeah. trouble were you fighting a lot you're a big dude yeah i was mostly getting beat up <laughs> really <laughs> yeah I, I wasn't a big dude then um 
Did no. you just have a chip on your shoulder? That, no, I had I had this group of friends that were, you know, they sort of were on a, you know, straight career path to, you know, they were they all turned out to be career criminals. And, oh, uh, so you were going down a bad road? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but I was never like I wasn't as tough as them. And then I was trying to sort of extract myself from them, and they did not like that. So when I sort of removed myself from them, I started to try to like hang out with other people. Then, you know, as soon as they ran into me with uh, Your new other friends. friends, then they would beat up my new friends. Were they you in a gang? Wow. Me. Was it, was it, were you in a gang? It's not, it wasn't like a, fi- like there was no name or anything like that, but it was. Just the group you hung with. Yeah, exactly. When Jim was a kid, he was in a, he, he tried to start a gang with his friends. <laughs> and you know what the name of the gang was? <laughs> it's, 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 it was, it was the Lords. <laughs> Look, yes. <laughs> uh, I, I, I will let you know. It sounds you, like a different kind of gang. <laughs> <laughs> It was, we were douches, I, I'll be honest, we were young <laughs> douchebags. After we a successful uh, show like House of Cards, do you still have to audition? And if you do, when you're seeing who you're up against, do you like go, oh fuck, I don't have a shot, or get nervous, or you just do what you do? Um, I, I don't have to audition anymore. I, I have not done an audition in a while, but I'm, I'm sure that there will be projects where I have to audition. But... Um, or, you know, put myself on tape or something like that. I, I haven't done it in a couple of years. Um, so that's sort of the, the the reward you get from sort of climbing the ladder a little well, bit. Well, some guys want you to read. Like, I heard Woody Allen, would like, he, like yeah. everyone reads for him. Like, yeah. it's nothing yeah. personal. It's just, or like Jim Carrey made a tape to do Man on the Moon. Like, there yeah, are projects, I mean, it, yes. I'm sure. And, and, I, and I think it's, it's sort of, uh, as soon as you step out of... Uh, stuff that you have already done or, or you know, where right. people can sort of associate with something else that you've done and, and you, you know, step up in level. Maybe you're hoping that, you know, one of the big directors is going to take a shot at you. You know, of course, then you, you'll have to do something to, to it, show them that uh, you're worthy. Sure. Does it shoot your confidence or does it... I, I, I can never... Because, like, you know, I've read that uh, you were almost Thor and you were almost <laughs> Mad Max, like, or, or right, right. whatever. You were almost the star of Mad Max. You were almost the star of Thor both times. Does it shoot your confidence to be like, why can't I get these big movies? Or does it make you go like, oh my God, I almost got that big movie. That means I'm on the right track here. Well, that was, it was kind of interesting because those were the first two auditions that I did in the U.S. So I, I wow. did, the first audition I did was Thor. To and, be Thor. Yeah. Right. And, um, and then... And then I was sort of in the final four for that, and it didn't work out. And then the, the second one I did was Mad Max. And um, and then I went got a call back, and they said that it was sort of me and two other guys. And, you know, then they gave it to Tom. Um, he so, was good, though. Oh. He was good. I mean, honestly, I... I I've, like when he is, when he is on, I, I just saw the fourth season of Peaky Blinders... I haven't. I've, I've watched I've one episode of it. I have not watched. I couldn't show. get past the first Me episode. Too. I, I, but I, somehow I, you got to give a couple episodes. I People really like it. So, I really so like good. it. But like what what Tommy's doing there, it's. Uh, I mean, sometimes I think that you know he can be really big. You sure. Know, it's. I, I find him like always compelling to watch. Sometimes I'm like seeing what he's doing in a way, um, but like when he is at his best, I don't. I, I can't think of anyone in like my generation that I think is more interesting to watch. I'm like. He can be really, really fucking good. So you don't get like uh, weird and and jealous about guys that you look at and be like, he's really good. Like you can appreciate what they're doing. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I I, I try to like. Uh, I mean, of course, I f- feel jealous feelings sometimes. Sure. And and but I really try to, you know, steer away from that kind of. Yeah, you have to feel it a little bit, but when you see a guy doing as well. As he did in Mad Max, like it's it's hard to argue why they gave no, it to him, even I, if you were good. But I honestly get inspired by it. It's like it makes me want to work harder. And, and it probably helps to like once you get House of Cards and Suicide Squad, and now I mean Altered Carbon is getting like all kinds of great reviews. Yeah, Friday on Netflix is yeah, available. That probably puts you in a much better headspace in terms of like, yeah, I'm good at this too. You know? Sure, of course that that makes it easier. Yeah, and we got to ask you too. What, the, the, you know, obviously you're sick and tired of talking about Kevin Spacey, but what, like, how was it? Because work- he's such a great he really actor. Did cloud like a great show. Like we should, we could just talk about House of Cards being awesome. Yeah, but now that has to be attached. Yeah, it to it, has right? to, or it's it's, yeah. it's, it's it, because you know, obviously it's a great uh, project to be involved with as an artist and creatively. And were there when when things kind of broke? Were you sho- were you shocked or were you like, yeah, I kind of suspected. I wasn't shocked. You weren't. No, but I mean, like, I had a great uh, work uh, working relationship with him. You know, he was very friendly to me. 
I understand. <laughs> I'll be, I don't go the same way he goes, but I'll be honest. I look at you and I'm like, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I look at you looking at him. <laughs> oh, so now it's. Uh, he was a fan of yours. He, he, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. he was friendly. He was very happy that I was there. So. Okay. <laughs> he, he wished you played his yeah. bodyguard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and let me ask you a question in general. When someone is happy that you're there, let's just say uh, when somebody who's uh, maybe uh, into you and you're not into that person in general, how do you allow them to know, I'm glad you're happy I'm here, but. Let's we're keep not, it, we're not gonna let's, get, let's we're gonna keep be it polite and move yeah. on. Yeah. How do you allow them to know that? I mean, I think it's uh, t- to me, it's pretty simple. You know, I, I mean, what's he what's he gonna do? You know, he can't. The, I mean, I'm just I'm just being. You know, I'm talking to him and I'm being polite and I'm laughing. You know, at if we're if we're having fun, but um, you know, it's just. There's there's a, did he try to get touchy and handsy feely? <laughs> no, he did one thing. That, well, one time when he uh, he was like Joe, we were doing this big scene, and uh, there was a lot of a lot of extras around. It was like this big ballroom, and I I walked in. It was like my first scene of the day, and he'd already been shooting, and he was in the middle of uh, changing his shirt, and um, and then I walked in, and he was like Joe. He was like very happy to see me, <laughs> and uh, and then while I walked up, he was like tucking in his shirt, and then. But his, you know, the pants was uh, buttoned, but the fly was open. So while he was, like, tucking in, he, like, ran his hands through the flyer and wanted to shake my hand that through way. His fly. <laughs> through his fly? Through his fly? So I was like, yeah, all right, I, I, I'll give you a fist bump. Like, that was... <laughs> I can give oh, you... then he turned around. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you, so, so when you say when you say that, that you weren't shocked, is it because you had heard things, or just because you're like anybody that tries to shake your hand through their fly is is, is probably got something going on? No, but I mean, I, I think you know, with Kevin, it was sort of. Uh... I mean, I don't, I don't want to like get into it too much, but sure. it, it's like he, uh, you, you'd heard stories, you know. Sure, like, but it's all rumors. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We have, you, who do we have that said uh, John Bernthal came on and he yes. was talking about, and he said that he was abusive to people on set. I was surprised that John said that, but he goes, w- "Did you notice that was he was he on baby obviously driver. was nice to you on Baby Driver?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Did, did you see was he yelling at people or no? No, no. I, I mean, he, I, he was perfectly professional. Oh, and, okay. So yeah. you saw the better when, side. No. Yeah. When you sh- when you were uh, sh- like say. Whatever season, did you do all the White House scenes for that season without moving to another location, or did you shoot one one episode at a time? Hold on, jo- we're, we're all. That's a great let us, question. Let us just enjoy it? the stunned silence of everyone well, in the room. You don't think that's a good? Do you I, I don't think I don't think that's a good, no, question, it's not a good question. If we were it's talking a, about White House location shoots, right. <laughs> that would no, be. No, I'm just wondering like, when you're like talking about. If no, you said Joel when, is coming in to promote where he shoots his scenes, yeah, we were talking. I, still I just be a bad question. He was discussing the scene stuff. No, no, we understand that. We understand. Hold on, could, the gaffer. Could you talk about the gaffer? Yeah. <laughs> He's so talking guys, about space. Right. He's trying to shake his hand to his fly, and we you're had, like, "So, hey, do they pick you up in a van, or do you get your own car?" In we the morning? had to talk Shut up. up. No behind the scenes stuff so far. We hadn't we hadn't addressed it yet. Okay, so you got to start somewhere. Okay, you guys, look, you go for the obvious. Hey, the Kevin Spacey. Right. I'm no, talking. No. Is some that is serious true. Yeah. television. No, I'm, I'm with you. I'm, it's, Wait until uh, Entertainment Tonight absolute, gets yeah. the scoop about uh, how, where, yes. in what order he shot the his White scenes. House location scene. Did they do them all at once or were <laughs> for you the back whole and forth? Season. I understand. Good, good right. point. Were, they, were you back and forth for those to <laughs> yeah. really break it? Yeah, it was a little. It was a little back and forth. So. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, cool. uh, <laughs> so what you're basically saying is that they build a set and they use it more than one day. Yeah, they do. Okay, yeah, there you yeah. go. Oh. That's breaking show yeah. news. They use a set more than one day yeah. for an ongoing project. So I want. Uh, I watched the new show, <laughs> Altered Carbon, um, and it really is good. It deals with like uh, uh, the, the, <laughs> the future and downloading consciousness and things like that. Yeah. I, I, obviously, uh, I saw the first scene. Do you have to be in shape at all times? Because like you said, you're, you don't audition anymore, but people probably expect that because you're in like ridiculous shape for this thing. Because he starts, I don't know if you saw it, Jim, but the opening of the show it's a back to back to Joel being nude again. It's it's like he's back home. <laughs> but you're yeah. like, you know, completely nude? Yeah, yeah. 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 No. Fucking butt naked. Butt naked. Yeah. <laughs> I know, Rich. It's exciting. <laughs> and fighting. <laughs> fighting by the like that poor yeah. guy. Like I, I put like a neon belly on this one guy and, and he, it's a neon belly, like balls in mouth. <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do you do all your naked scenes in one day? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But like, so do you? Do you have to be like? Like, I always think about it with fighters. Fighters have to be in fighting shape for 
you know, one yeah. fight and they work up sure. to it. But do you have to kind of at this point? Yeah, I mean, that, that was a big challenge because if you do a movie, you maybe you have like one right. shirtless scene and then you sort of work your way up to that. But this was a 10 month shoot where, you know, it was a female showrunner. So I was like, I have my shirt off in every fucking episode. <laughs> so. But is it weird when you fight a guy naked? Like if you have to fight a guy naked, I'm taking your, I'm not sure what your orientation is, but if you're straight and you have to fight a guy naked, does it feel weird to be that intimately connected to a guy or no? I mean, it did feel weird for me, uh, but I'm sure it felt really weird for him. I guess it all depends yeah. on who's winning. Yeah, you know? yeah. I was, I was winning. You I was on top. <laughs> okay. Joel did get himself in shape, though. He's na- in this show, he's got the body structure of a guy who would fight naked. Like, Jim, if you or I fought naked, it would be horrible. We'd like, be getting when... beaten up naked. Yeah. And rid- if, if Sam and I were naked in the yeah. film, it'd be a, a gang beating yeah. us up, yeah. ridiculing us. It right. would be set in a shower. Yeah. It yes, would, it would be. Yeah. It would yeah. be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I look like a raft. <laughs> <laughs> Did you uh, when you when you get these scripts? Do you kind of uh, figure that this show because it's tough, especially on Netflix, where like the the viewer base is going to be like, okay, we've seen you on really great stuff. Now you've got this new show. Like, do you look at the script and be like, yes, I know that this is going to be one of those good shows, or do you just go like, let's let's roll the dice on this one, let's take a chance. Um, no, I mean, uh, of course, I'm hoping that it's going to be, you know, one of the great shows. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's that thing with, with television. There's always a little bit of a gamble because usually you don't, you don't get to read all of the episodes. Of course. But, um, but here, you know, I was, I was thrilled about yeah. how this turned out. And it's also, it was like, um, the, the ambition behind it was, you know, kind of unparalleled. <laughs> and I'm a big sci-fi nerd. And, yeah. And I love these kind of dystopian tales of the future and this sort of cyberpunk aesthetic. And, and you know, to get that was that was one of the things that I was really excited about that, you know, Netflix, they come in um they give a project like this uh you know, a big budget Hollywood movie kind yeah, of a absolutely. budget, but then at the same time, it's a hard R rating. Yeah. So you can really, you can portray the sex and the violence as it is in the book. And what's great too is that, like, for sci fi, we're at a place where you can watch this show and, like, realistically say, like, yeah, that's probably where we're going. You know what I mean? We're not yeah. dealing with these, like, concepts that, like, you really have to stretch your imagination. Yeah, for. you can see how it happens. It's like Black Mirror, you can kind Precisely. of see this. Like,